Hi, this video tutorial I will cover Java exception handling best practices. Either log the exception or throw it, but never do the both. Here we are logging the exception as well as we are throwing the exception. This is not correct because for a single problem in the code, we are logging as well as throwing. So this will result multiple log message in the log file then it will be very difficult to debug. Never throw any exception from finally block. Here you can see try block. It has some method which will throw one exception. Here you can see finally block. Inside that cleanup method is there. If cleanup method does not throw any exception, then this is fine. But if some method throws one exception and cleanup method also throws another exception, then the second exception will come out of the method. So what will happen is uh, the original first exception we will last forever. In finally block uh, if any code is throwing an exception then what we have to do is either we have to handle it or log it. Never let the exception come out of the finally block. Always catch only those exceptions that you can actually handle. Don't catch any exception just for the sake of uh, catching it. Catch any exception only if you want to handle it or you want to provide additional contextual information in that exception. Here uh, we are catching no such method exception and throwing it back. This does not help anything. So avoid doing this. If you are not going to handle the exception, use finally block instead of uh, catch block. This is also a good practice. If inside your method you are accessing some method 2 and method 2 throws some exception which you do not want to handle in method 1 but still want some cleanup in case of error occur then do this cleanup code in finally block and do not use catch block. And this is about Java exception handling best practices and thanks for watching.